Daisy first appeared as Shoreline Fina and Daisy. After that, it took at least five months for her actual unit to release on Noppy's banner. Way later than anticipated, needless to say. Daisy's Trustmaster reward is a materia that boosts defense by 50% and gives a small limit burst regen. It's not bad, per se, though it's definitely not the best for defense or the most notable in function. Her Super Trustmaster reward is an accessory that can be upgraded further through the associated event, which is also limited, so hopefully you're not watching this far into the future. At its base, it has a high defense stat, automatically grants your unit a 30% general mitigation buff, and boosts their attack, magic, defense, and spirit by 50% when they're holding a shield. It's not strictly necessary by any means, as stats aren't too hard to come by nowadays. Of course, if it helps, it helps, and if it makes your unit look better, who am I to disagree? On to her active abilities. As she was supposed to be released long before Neovisions, several of her abilities are rather… unflattering. So let's go over the nice parts. Star Performance gives her an active provoke buff. Heroine of the Shield grants her team a 70% physical mitigation buff, and boosts their earth and light resistance by 100%. Cover, Physical 5 boosts your team's stats by 230%, gives them a 50% general and physical mitigation buff, and gives Daisy a strong physical cover. Facade Peel is essentially a dispel. She can chain with Stardust Ray, but her damage is really, really… it tries. Defensive Row gives her a 60% general mitigation buff, and enables Block Method, Recovery Method, and Spiritual Method. You'll likely only use Spiritual Method for its Light and Earth Resistance buffs. It does come with a 15% physical mitigation buff against humans, but that's more of an add-on. Offensive Row can make her damage marginally better, but perhaps more notable is one of the abilities that it unlocks, Revival Method, which gives Daisy a full one-turn re-raise buff. I admit that it's a bit sad if you go Offensive Row just to predict your death though. She also gets some magic spells. Protekka and Shoga can be awakened further to boost their respective mitigation buffs to 50%. Not only that, but she also gets an Stone which imbues earth onto your team and buffs their earth damage by 15%. Passives. With her Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equipped, she unlocks Bond with Milietta, who is a cool looking unit we'll never see. To compensate, she gets stats and more defense and spirit when her health falls below half. Personally, I'd just prefer Milietta. Her crush on Rain gives her even more HP, somehow, and maybe being Mazurka's best friend changes her normal attack to her strongest move here, a earth attack that scales with her defense stat. Chains of Boating Strike, and gives her a Provoke buff. She has a 50% boost to passive Provoke, a chance to perform some counters, and a small boost to her Limit Burst Gauge Fill Rate. Having her talent discovered by Kokot is another connection to a wild unit, but instead of her presence, Daisy gets a Guts buff. At EX plus 2, she gets 500 extra defense. At EX plus 3, she gets an instant Limit Burst, and access to preemptive cover, Physico, a weak yet automatic physical cover ability. Let's look at her Limit Burst. It activates a physical cover and then boosts your team's Earth and Light Elemental Resistance by 110% at max level. This would have been excellent like a year ago, but now it's been regulated to a bit niche, which is a shame for the work put into the CG Limit Burst. Time to change forms. Daisy's Brave Shift has a 3 turn duration and a lengthy 4 turn cooldown. Onto her active abilities. She keeps Heroin of the Shield and Star Performance, which aren't bad, but they definitely could have been upgraded. She still got her magic spells too, which would be a shame if she lost them. Earth Principle deals Earth physical damage that scales off her defense, inflicts a 120% Earth Imperil, chains of Boating Strike, and gives Daisy a 75% general mitigation buff. Actress of Shield can be used once per battle. For a single turn, it gives her team a whopping 99% physical and magical mitigation buff against fairy and stone enemies. Unfortunately, you likely won't remember this when you need it. Passives. With her Trustmaster Reward or Super Trustmaster Reward equipped, she gets a 30% boost to her elemental resistance, 2 guts buffs, and a 50% boost to her passive provoke. When holding a single weapon, she gains a lot of equipment defense. She also has the leeway to hold a shield, and for once, she's a unit that can actually hold a shield in the first place. She gains a whole bunch of other passives too. Bonus 20% elemental resistance across the board and 50% status ailment resistance as well. She also still retains the EX contingent passives. Let's look at her limit burst. It boosts your team's earth and light resistance by 150%, grants your team a strong HP barrier, and gives your team a 75% physical and magical mitigation buff against fairies. Hopefully you remember this when you need it. Let's rank brave abilities. I'd prioritize cover, physical to change the number from 1 to 5, and also to raise the strength of the cover itself. Then you can strengthen her a crush on rain because it's sweet, 
and then you don't really have to touch Earth Principle, as that just raises damage. So, EX2. Getting Daisy to EX plus 2 unlocks 500 defense. Which is nice, I admit, but 500 defense on a tank isn't as great as 500 attack on a damage dealer. It's still helpful, don't get me wrong, but it's not that big of a deal compared to, say, her automatic physical cover from EX plus 3. She also gets an instant limit burst, which is extremely niche given their effects, though they're certainly strong if you use them in the right situations. But really, we're all well aware of the leeway from automatic covers, and Daisy will benefit from this one as well. So how good is Daisy? As a physical tank, she's definitely solid. She's got all the tools and durability that a physical tank will want, plus some extra additions that are just nice to have. Her magic spells can see some use as well, though of course she won't quite become the premier earth supporter anytime soon. Ultimately, her best support is incredibly niche, admittedly effective when necessary, but chances are you're so comfortable with the kits of other physical tanks that you won't even remember Daisy's niche abilities. But if that scenario actually plays out, you can rest assured that Daisy will definitely go far in defending your team. In the end, she's not the sturdiest tank, nor does she possess the most support, but she's got spirit. Not the stat, of course, but you know what I mean. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, then leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you can Neo Vision Awaken Daisy. She's free from the associated event, so if you participated in that, then you're certainly a step ahead. I know I sure am.